Hey guys, it's Nikki from the Great Outdoors Marine in Lavalette, West Virginia. I want to thank you for purchasing your amazing new Bennington pontoon from me at the Great Outdoors Marine. I'm going to do a brief video going over your boat, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Hey guys, we're going to go over your console here. At your console, you've got an accessory switch right here, and that accessory switch is going to control your stereo, and if your stereo is Bluetooth, you can hook it up right to your phone. And it also controls your Garmin Fish Finder Depth Finder, and you can power it on right here. For your lights, you do not have to have your accessory switch on, so you can flip that back. This next switch, if you flip it up, it's going to be your navigation and anchor lights. Or if you flip it back, it's just going to be your anchor light. You've got your gauges here. And then on this side, you have your live well button. This one is going to control your docking lights and your horn. To start your new boat, you want to make sure that you have your safety lanyard right here and attached to you. You also want to make sure that your throttle is in the neutral position and then just turn your key like you would your car. Hey guys, it's Grant. I'm going to go over your Yamaha engine. You have a Yamaha 115 horsepower four stroke. A four stroke means you're not mixing oil anymore. This is already in there just like your car. You need to be running either ethanol free fuel if you have that at a marina that you're going to be docking at or you need to run 87 regular gas. If you're running at 87 regular, please add stable fuel treatment to it to keep the ethanol good. But please do not do a half a tank of 87 and a half a tank of ethanol free because they do not mix well together. Uh, so your break-in on your engine, you need to run this engine. Uh, for the, it's a 10 hour break-in. For the first two hours, you're going to be in between 2,500 and 3,500 RPMs. Keep it right there. You can, don't just keep it at 3,000 for two hours. You know, you know, go up around 3,200, back down about 28. Kind of vary it, but you need to be there for two full hours. Um, after that, two hours is up. You need to, for the next eight hours, you can go full throttle at that point, but you cannot just do that for, you know, over 15, 20 minutes. But you can do it if you need to run to the other end of the lake and it only takes a five to 10 minute run, go for it. But just make sure you vary it, drop that thing back down uh, in the 25s, 4,000 and on up, you know, just make sure you're varying that. One last thing is gonna be maintenance on this engine. You need to maintenance it every single year. Uh, bring that down here to us. We can do that for you. We can service your engine. That is changing the oil in the engine and the lower unit oil. That needs to be done. We advise to do that every single fall. That way you can get it serviced and winterized and be ready for next spring. Thanks again for purchasing your new Bennington from me. I hope you have a great summer on the water.